In this video, we use a hands-on code demo in PyTorch to see autodiff in action firsthand. All right, back in our subject three, Calculus One Notebook from my Machine Learning Foundation series. We're now in segment three of that notebook, the final segment in the notebook, which is on automatic differentiation. And in this segment, we're going to use TensorFlow and PyTorch to calculate some derivatives. So we're going to use autodiff and TensorFlow and PyTorch are the two most popular automatic differentiation libraries, certainly at the time of filming, and I expect for some time into the future. And so we can use these automatic differentiation libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch to perform derivative calculus. And this comes in handy in a broad range of problems, particularly machine learning problems, but you could potentially use them even more broadly for other kinds of calculus problems. And so we think of TensorFlow and PyTorch as being deep learning libraries, typically. Most people who know them think of them as deep learning libraries, but they're much, much broader than that. They have much more applicability than to just neural networks. So let's use both of these libraries to calculate the derivative of this function here, where y is equal to x squared. And specifically, we're going to calculate the slope of this curve, y equals x squared, at the point where x is equal to 5. So in order to calculate slope, we need to know what dy dx is. And we could use the derivative rules that we learned in the previous segment to do this. So y equals x squared, according to the power rule, becomes 2x when we take its derivative. And then we can throw in the point that we're interested in, say where x is equal to 5, into this formula. And 2x, 2 times 5, is equal to 10, which means that the slope of this curve, y equals x squared, at the point where x is equal to 5, is 10. That's what the slope is there. So let's now do this same thing that we did manually in the PyTorch library first. So we import PyTorch, and then we will create a scalar tensor to store this value x. And so this is something that we did a lot of in the Intro to Linear Algebra subject, the first subject of this Machine Learning Foundation series. And recall from then that many PyTorch functions worked properly if we had float typed tensors. And so I'm being sure to include a decimal place here and get that float typed scalar tensor x. And we can have a look at it here. Now, the new thing that we're going to do, something that we haven't seen yet in this Machine Learning Foundation series, is we are going to require the gradient to be tracked on this particular tensor. And so by calling this method, it turns the requires grad property of this tensor object from false, the default, to true. And we don't do it by default because it takes up extra memory. But when we want to calculate a derivative with respect to x, then we are going to want to start tracking its gradient as we start to perform a forward pass, if we start to perform operations on that variable x, on that tensor x, we're going to want to track the gradients. And so this gradient tracking happens contagiously. So any variable that is created as a function of x, any tensor that's created as a result of some operation on x, will track the gradients on that new tensor as well. So in this case, we have a very simple equation where it's just y equals x squared. But when we implement that equation here, the gradient has now been tracked from x all the way through to y. So that's our forward pass. And now we can use automatic differentiation by calling the backward method in PyTorch. So we use the tensor that we would like to have as the starting point of the derivative. So in this case, dy dx. So we go backwards from dy. And so we do that here with this backward method call. This now uses 
automatic differentiation. So it tracks all the way back through whatever tensors were involved in creating Y. And in this case, it's just, again, this very, very simple single step equation from X to Y, but we could have hundreds of functions in this chain or thousands of functions that would be commonplace in a lot of machine learning algorithms, particularly deep learning algorithms. So to actually get this gradient, this slope of Y with respect to X, we can ask for the grad attribute of the X tensor that we started with. And so if we had multiple inputs, multiple tensors that ultimately led to Y being calculated, then you could find out what the slope of Y is with respect to each of those variables separately by calling the grad, by asking for this grad attribute on each of whatever those variables are. In this case, we just have X and we see that yes, dy dx, so going backwards from y, dy dx is 10, which is exactly what we calculated by hand. Cool, so that's auto diff in PyTorch. Up next, let's do the same computation in TensorFlow.